Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems covering diverse aspects such as select, basic joins, basic related functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called sellers with no sales and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the seventh video of the series called sellers with no sales and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called customer with two different columns customer ID and customer name. Customer ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains the information of each customer in the web store. We are given a second table called orders with five different columns order ID, sale date, order cost, customer ID, and seller ID. Order ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains all orders made in the web store. Sale date is the date when the transaction was made between the customer that is customer ID and the seller that is seller ID. We are also given a third table called seller with two different columns, seller ID and seller name. Seller ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains the information of each seller. We are asked to write a solution to report the name of all sellers who did not make any sales in 2020. Return the result table ordered by seller name in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have the customer table. Then we have the orders table. Let me drag it to the right so that is easier for us to read. And then we also have the seller table. So for each of the seller, we need to find out who did not have a sale in year of 2020. So we have three different sellers, Daniel, Elizabeth and Frank with seller ID 1, 2 and 3. So for 2020 in the orders table, we only have three rows, right? So row number 1, 2 and 4. And what is the seller ID associated with it? So 1, 2 and 2. So obviously 1 and 2, that is Daniel and Elizabeth had sold something in 2020, but Frank has not sold anything in 2020. So that is what we have in our output. So we have learned earlier in the series as well as in the SQL 50 series that we completed before this for beginner and intermediate level SQL problems that whenever we have the language of the problem like for every seller in a seller table, right? So basically it is asking us to perform an outer join on the table that we need to keep everything from and then reaching out to something else. So here when it says all the seller from the seller table, right? And we need to make sure that the orders table the row that we are on considering is on where the year of sale date is 2020 so what we need to do is let me you know for example let me drag it to the left and make sure that okay from this table called seller right let me just drag it down okay so from the table called seller let me alias this as s and I need to perform a left join because I need for every seller need to find out whether they were selling something in 2020 or not. Left join. But now from the orders table, I am only interested in those rows where the year of sale date column is equal to 2020. So what I can do is I can do that. Okay, from this table called orders, right from this table called orders i need to keep only those rows where year of the sale date column is equal to 2020 and for those rows i need to keep all the columns okay so select star and what i can do is i can you know alias this entire thing this entire thing basically becomes so if this entire thing is a table that will only have rows where your year is equal to 2020. So basically these three rows. Okay. So what I can do is let me alias this as T or O or whatever, or let me just alias is that O. Now I need to left join on. So on S dot seller ID is equal to O dot seller ID. Right. So if I just drag it to the right, so we can see that, okay, S dot seller ID is equal to O dot seller ID. So basically what we are doing is for every seller, we are trying to find out the orders that were made in 2020 associated with them. So obviously if you have this, right, so for seller ID three, so in the, in the rows where sale year of sale date is 2020, this is not going to five any match. So all the columns coming from the orders table is going to have nulls in them. So if I go ahead and do select star and let me go ahead and run this, let me drag it to the left. So let's see what do we get in our output. 
Okay, so if I look at our output, so this is what we have and if we can see for Frank, for Frank we have nulls because there was no order made in year 2020. So obviously we need to return all those rows where any of the column value coming from the table that we created is null. So we need to keep only those rows where o dot order id is null. You can choose any of this, but like, you know, since the question says that for 2020, which seller did not make any sale. So obviously I'm taking the order ID as null. Okay. So if I go ahead and run this, then it will keep only that particular row that is for Frank, right? So this is the person who has not sold anything in 2020, but in our output, we only need the name of the seller. So what we can do is we can simply go ahead and do S dot seller name. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so even though this says accepted, our solution is not complete because our output, even though it says is same as expected output, we actually need to order this by the seller name as well. So if we look at our question, if it is, you know, there are more than one person who has not sold anything in 2020, we need to order this by. So order by s dot seller name and by default it's arranges in ascending order okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we learned about this concept that whenever the language of the question is that for all the sellers who did not make any sales so basically it is an example of a using a outer join we use a left outer join and before performing a join on the orders table we were only interested in those rows where year is equal to 2020 because that is what the question is asking us we performed a join and then kept only those rows where all order id is null basically which satisfies that oh, sellers who did not make any sales in 2020 and then we return the seller's name and ordered by seller name in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video.